Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you bind list view using complex data binding in UWP. So first of all create a model and that uh, create a, a repository class and after that repository access in the code behind file of your uh, um, list view page. Okay, that's uh, it's simple and uh, good uh, concept in my mind so I will sh uh, I'm going to show you okay so first of all add a model and in which you can add a product class okay in the product class you can take some properties of the product uh, like the product ID product name and uh, product descriptions okay so first is the product ID and the second one is product name Okay, and uh, third one is swing product description. These are the more, uh, and the last one is swing price. Okay, I will take uh, price in the string format. Okay don't worry about this okay and uh, in the repository sections I have to add a product repository dot CS file and uh, in the project repository you can use static list mm, that list uh, access uh, in the code behind file of your list view directly by using class name so public static list of product class that is complex data binding and uh, you can add uh, some value in the uh, list view list of product resolve by using control dot uh, can add some item in the product list new product list so new product and in which you can add some items in the product okay and uh, the product ID is one and the product name is Apple And product description is hardware and software company and the last one is the price that is not individual price we can consider the Apple you can select Apple mobile it's approx range we can select so remove the descriptions also and select iPhone and the price is approx uh, nearly equals to dollar um, six hundred okay uh, another uh, you can add uh, the new two new items Oops, getting error. Okay, uh, oops, getting error. So, first of all, remove the semicolon and use a, a comma operator. That's a mistake and use it here okay uh, just copy this uh, line and paste to change some items okay and uh, the product ID is 2 and the product name is Samsung mobile and the product description is mobile 
S7 sorry not 7 S7 and uh, price is three dollar uh, three fifty can add the third item also product 3 and uh, Microsoft mobile and the is Microsoft and the product price is $200 okay that's fine now after uh, doing this you can uh, simply access this uh, list in the code behind file of the list view so first of all add a list view in the stack panel so uh, stack panel orientation is vertical the name is st1 and the background is sequa and in which you can add a list view so there is list view and uh, name of the list view as usual I can take ls1 and uh, header of the list view is list view okay just view dot item source what is the item source in which you can take data template data template and in the data template you can take a simple text box as a text block to uh, display the data text is binding so use binding as usual uh, you can um, this things is similar with the WPF is the product ID there is product ID product name and product description and the price similar thing you can take it here product ID just copy this line for the uh, all uh, remaining properties of your product class and these property in the list view you can take in the stack panel uh, with the hori uh, with the vertical orientations for the clear reason now just uh, copy and the paste okay just uh, just change your product uh, your text with the binding that is product name and uh, product description and the last one is product price so price it here okay that's why an attribute name is missing it here oops name is stack panel 2 closing tag of the element text block was not found oops there is okay that's fine and uh, in the code behind file of your page you can bind with the list view using the repository class so first of all access the list view by using ls1 dot item source and the item source available in the repository so directly get you uh, you can get the repository by using the class name so that is product repo uh, resolve this using control dot press the control dot key to resolve this issue products okay that's fine and run your project so thank you very much for watching this video please keep watching my all other video tutorial of uwp and i provide you better video tutorial of uwt to learn many more things about uwp and so thank you very much for watching this video
Let me keep watching. So first of all, come to designer. There is not item source. Is the item template. So thank you. Sorry for this line. So thank you very much for watching again. See your output. Yeah, there is output. Thank you very much.